day everyone huh. welcome back so it's been a little while since we've done a video especially since we've done one on on the racing mower but we've been pretty busy working on it as you can probably see here uh, we managed to get it sitting about three inches lower so we uh, we cut the rear brackets down in order to lower this like I said before we want to reuse as much of the original equipment as possible and we took about three inches out of the back of them and we bolted them back together with some half inch grade 5 bolts uh, that should be plenty strong to hold it all back together they're not terribly pretty now but we're going to clean all this up once all the bodywork and fabrication is done uh, it's going to make it a nice coat of paint and get it looking pretty for a few minutes anyway until we start swapping that paint with people on the racetrack once we got the rear end bolted in and got everything leveled out we started measuring up for the front suspension modifications we've got our notch marked out here where we're gonna have to cut the frame rails in order to tuck the front axle back in we're just gonna modify the existing front axle for now and by cutting the frame rails there and by notching the top of the axle which we'll show you in a sec there uh, we'll be able to get uh, the matching three inches of drop in the front as well. So we've got our front axle. We're going to reuse this uh, as well. See that little blue mark there? That's a, roughly the bottom of where we're going to cut out, and we're going to notch it. Sort of down here, across here, flatten out this hump in the top, and that'll allow it to sit nice and tight up against the frame support. By notching this axle out and flattening out the top, we'll be able to tuck it back up in the cuts we made in the frame rails and get it back in the original position. That's one of the few rules governing the suspension in the racing class we're looking to, is you have to maintain the original wheelbase. The reason we have to notch the front axle is to let us clear this jut out here. Uh, we can't really cut it out because that's pretty integral to the frame. It's also how everything's held together in the front. So yeah, we're just going to trim out the axle to make it fit around that. We managed to get a bit more than 3 inches of drop out of this. We uh, were sitting at just over 16 inches up here uh, before we started and now it's just under 13 inches. So that'll be good for now. If this is something that we're going to continue to do long term with Rideau Valley Motorsports, we'll probably put in a, a solid axle and get a 90 degree gearbox. A little stronger, probably get a little better gear ratio out of it, and um, it seems to be what the racers in the higher classes do, so I gotta assume it's better. Anyhow, so you can see we got quite a bit of work left to do here, so I'm gonna get back to it and see who I can round up to give me a hand. Thanks for watching, check us out next time.